All right, let's go see uh, what's on Disney Plus. It's a trap. Oh, I never seen this movie. Last time I heard about it was when I was ten. Let's watch it. One hour later. People, this movie, I completely forgot what it was about. This movie came out in 1994. I was 10 years old. I remember seeing trailers to this. I thought, hey, I want to see this. Looks fun. My 10-year-old mind didn't know what the hell was going on. I thought it was funny. It looked funny in a trailer. I saw nothing wrong with it. Forgot about it for many, many years. Decided to watch it yesterday. Holy shit, is this movie so creepy. Uh, granted, it was made in 1994. A lot of good stuff was... A lot of stuff happened in 94, you can easily get away with, but this movie did not age well. It stars Gerard Depardieu and a young uh, Christine Catherine Heigl. And the plot is like, they go to some island, Caribbean, stay there. Oh my God, this movie. And Catherine Heigl, like, I think this is, like, her first movie she's ever made. <sighs> uh. <laughs> Feels so dirty just watching this movie in a bad way. But, yeah, this is Catherine Heigl's first movie. And in the movie, her and her father go for this vacation for 10 days. Remember that for 10 days. They sexualize her right away. Did I say she was 14? And she's 14. There's a fong shot in this where you see her ass. I'm thinking like, surely she has to be 18 when they shot this. They're just saying she's 14 in the movie. Look it up. How old was Catherine Heigl in 1994, Google? 14. And I'm going like, oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. The fact that every guy wants to fuck her in this movie, and the way she's dressing, the director is, oh my god. Especially the thong shot, because this is what Catherine Heigl had to say. <laughs> oh god, oh god, that makes it even worse. Go back to the story. Catherine Heigl's character meets some douchebag kid who doesn't believe she's 16. She says she's 18. And then she makes up the story that her father is her lover. Oh, God, that sounds even worse. <laughs> and then the whole island thinks that he's a creep. There's some funny scenes in this movie for this kind of movie. Like the two old couple. They're hilarious. They steal all the scenes. When they're together. Uh, that one lady who uh, runs up to them and takes a picture and just runs away with a mean look on her face. But then there's the other people just give them dirty looks and the father doesn't realize what's going on. And he's even wondering why people are giving him dirty looks. Meanwhile, the daughter is... Spoilers, if you already don't know. Fuck it. It's, it's a 1994 movie. It's, if you don't know what by now what the fuck is going on, it, you need to... Watch this movie. It's been years. It's been years. It's been 22 years. She meets this guy. Already, she likes him. Well, of course, because it's teen angst. And the entire time, Catherine Heigl's character is just being a bitch. <laughs> yes, I said it. Teen angst is like, and falls in love with him overnight. And keeps on getting worse from there. And like, Gerard de Perdue's. There's this one scene where he's, it, oh my god, it's, 
talent night. So they say like, hey, go up there and sing a song. So he does go up there and sing a song about little girls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then it turns into like situation comedy, which 90, the 90s always did this for some reason. Then the daughter makes up the story that he's dying. The father gets into it and then you're thinking like, okay, just tell him the truth and just get this over with. But they keep on going with it. This movie is so bad. There's some funny parts to it here and there. Uh, uh, and then the girl says, um, I'm in love with you. And they met like nine, eight days ago. Teen angst. And you got a Emma Thompson cameo at the end for some reason. Also, why is this called My Father the Hero? I don't know why. It doesn't make sense, but anyways, this is a weird ass movie. This was quite an adventure. I just had to talk about it because like I just watched this last night for the first time. And I was uh The subject matter alone was just yeah. This movie cannot be made today. I, it would not be made today, but 90s was a different time. I lived through it. It was a different time, but yeah. This movie did not age well. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for now. Hero Nation, Hero Freak Out. Bye.